the super tidy way to tie your belt. So take one end of the belt this time, hold it on your side, wrap the belt around and carefully layer it so it goes around on top of itself all the way around your body so that they're sitting just on top of each other, the layers of the belt. Now pull the bottom layer of the belt out so you have that end exposed. Take the other end of the belt, make sure that you have them even. The layer of the belt that's on top wraps around and under both layers of the belt so it comes out high now and the other end is low. Take the high end of the belt, wrap it around the low end, just around that one layer, pull tight so that both layers are tied neatly together. Take one end of the belt, hold it on your side. Wrap the belt around carefully so that it comes on top of the other layers of the belt and goes all the way around without folding and without crossing over. Bring the bottom layer out from underneath so you now have two ends of the belt exposed. Make sure that they're both the same length. The layer of the belt that's on top, take that around and under both layers of the belt. That same one that you just wrapped around and under, wrap over the other end of the belt, pull it through and pull tight. Benefits of the super neat way of tying your belt are basically that the belt lines up all the way around your waist, there's no crossover. Sometimes some people say they find the crossover uncomfortable or also they just think this looks better. On the other hand, some people say that the crossover actually helps to support and protect the kidneys better. Um, disadvantages are that it takes longer to do. If you're in a hurry, if you're in the middle of training, you don't want to have to stop and wrap around and so on. But good way maybe to start out training during a night and if it stays done up the whole time that's good um, and you'll look nice, neat and tidy, maybe good for photos and things like that as well.